Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank. Typically on Regent Elevate, we focus on more business type topics, leadership, how to make businesses more effective, uh, make more money, uh, create a great culture. But in this series, we're actually going to talk about seven steps to financial freedom. And this is really a personal uh, financial freedom series. And we're doing this because we're closing out 2019, starting a new year, and it's a great time to create financial habits, which will help you achieve your goals. So we're going to start with step one today, and that is we want to think about the income side of our, of our financial freedom. A lot of times people People will focus on expenses and cutting expenses, and we're going to talk about managing expenses uh, for sure. But I want you to think about three things as it relates to managing your income. Number one, make sure you're getting paid what you're worth. Make sure your company is not taking you for granted. It's not intentional on the company's part. <clears throat> a lot of times when you've worked somewhere for a long time, you know, you might just end up out, out of the market uh, on your salary, so you might do a survey. Look online, see what other positions comparable to yours make. You know, just make sure that you're being paid fairly uh, within the market. So that is that is number one. Number two is think about other sources of income. You can take on additional jobs. You can do things on the side. You know, a lot of people will buy and sell cars. They'll do you know hobbies and sell uh, things that they make. There's services that they can provide to the market where you can earn, particularly in an online economy. There are a lot of ways to earn additional revenue that you can do off hours outside of work. It doesn't impact your job and just make sure it doesn't impact your family negatively and consider other sources of income. It's not wrong to have multiple jobs or sources of income if it doesn't interfere with your main job. And then finally, think about your education. Is it possible that going back and getting more education, maybe a higher degree, maybe a certificate, would, would that help you earn more money? So step one is think about your income and maximize your personal income. We'll talk about step two next week. Uh, we look forward to seeing you then.